Good morning, boys and girls. I'm very happy to see you all again for a new lesson, a new story about another saint. Okay, so this one is a little bit different than the others because um, you'll see. So this one is about Saint Marina the monk. Okay, if you haven't caught it, a monk is always a man, right? A holy man of prayer, but it's always a man. And a monk is a man, so why are we saying Saint Marina the monk? Because Marina is a girl's name. So you're going to say, oh wow, there's a lot to this story. And there really is. It's a beautiful story. So I'll tell you from the beginning. So Saint Marina was the daughter of a very, very wealthy Christian. And, but the thing is, her, her mommy died when she was a little girl. So all she had was her dad. And her dad uh, wanted to become a monk and, and live in the monastery. But what to do with her? So he really wanted her to get married. And so he can go be a monk in the monastery. But you know what? St. Marina didn't want to get married. She wanted to be a monk too, be with her dad, live in the monastery and pray all the time. So, you know, she wasn't going to be able to do that on her own. So guess what she did? She pretended to be a boy. She cut off her hair and dressed like a boy and joined the monastery. And you're gonna say, what? What did she do? She pretended to be a boy? Can they do that? Well, she did do that. So that was very gutsy of her, right? But she really wanted to be in the monastery and pray with the monks. So there she was and nobody knew that she was a girl for a long time. And you're gonna say, well, can I see a little bit of what this, this monk girl looks like? Well, this is what she looks like. This is St. Marina. Just, just a cute picture. What is that halo again around her face? What do we talk about that? Because of her, her holiness uh, and light comes out around her. That's why it's there because she's very holy. And what is this in her arms? What is that? It's a baby. It's a little itty bitty precious little baby. And you're gonna say a monk, a woman, a baby. It just doesn't make sense. And I agree with you. But you know what? God has ways. God has wonderful, wonderful, miraculous ways. Okay, so we'll go on with the story. So she was living very well in the monastery nothing wrong nobody knew she was a girl and so one day the abbot that's like the leader of the monastery sent a bunch of them to do an errand and they had to stay at this inn or like a hotel motel what we call it now and so they had to stay there overnight and so when they when the morning came they left and then the, the girl, the daughter of the innkeeper said, you know what, I'm pregnant. I'm gonna have a baby. And they said, what? And she had accused St. Marina of the person that got her pregnant. Well, we know that can't be true, but you know, nobody knew she was a girl. So everybody thought she was a boy. So they really, really were upset with St. Marina and they treated her very badly and very harshly. And you're gonna say, well, why didn't you just say, I'm not it because I'm a girl? That would have solved everything, right? Well, St. Marina was not one to complain. She took the punishment, even though she didn't do the crime. And you know what? When this baby came, they made her take care of the baby. So she took care of the baby because she had compassion. 
and that's something we all strive to have is compassion so she took care of the baby all the way till he was he was grown up and that baby that baby boy she raised grew up to be a monk too so one day when when saint marina was going to pass away she was getting a little bit old and it's become years and years and years she passed away and so they had to to take care of her body for burial and everything and um, they discovered that she was a girl and oh my goodness can you imagine what they were thinking oh my goodness they treated her so badly and so harshly all her life in the monastery only to find out it wasn't even her fault so they were so sad and they were so repentant about that and you know what they accepted the fact that that saint marina was not a, a real monk a real boy she was a saint but she was a woman and she took all her all the punishment cheerfully without complaining and without anger so i wanted you to know how important it is to be compassionate so when you're playing in the playground with your friends always always look at your friends with with love and always be nice always be kind and if you can help help okay that's what compassion is and that's the lesson we learn from saint marina the monk okay so i hope that you have a wonderful wonderful blessed week and i hope god willing to see you next week for another lesson maybe another story about a saint what saint do you want to have us a study let me know okay let me know in your comments okay in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit one god amen see you next week god willing